Hello, my name's Jordan and welcome to a mod review. We've not really done any of these in the past, so this is probably like the first one, so hopefully it goes alright. This is a mod called Scapecraft. Uh, the guy's name is just crazy, it's like 999134 YouTube. But his the link for his YouTube channel will be in the description and also to the Minecraft forum where this has been posted. To start off with, I've got Dragon Armor on, which is uh, like... When I used to play, it was like literally the best thing. There was no bandos, god armor, and all things like that. Don't even know about it. And I've got a rune sword and a white sword. I just picked those up randomly. I just thought they were really cool. Um, if it's still around, oh, there was like a um, a typical sort of level three noob villager kind of looking guy here, which was pretty class. You can already see that there's cabbages about. Now the reason it's not set up like a normal mod would be is because when I was looking through the items, I was like. I don't really think I can set things up, you know, it's just literally a show and tell. There's so much involved in this, like, it's crazy. The spawners, so I don't really want to spawn things, but you know, you can see like the sort of thing that bot spawner, dwarf spawner, caliphite, green dragon, high mage, magic leaf, magic plank, magic log, things like this, you know, just the standard stuff. Now these are basically all uh, spawners for the mob switch, <coughs> excuse me, I'm ill, which I'll show you in a bit. But yeah, there's magic saplings, so you can grow magic trees. Uh, let's get one of those going. Let's see the bone meal. <laughs> there we go. And just press on it until... Let's see a magic tree. Please be a magic tree. If this even works. I don't even know if this is the way to grow a magic tree. But, um... I'll forget that. But there is a tree over there, which I believe is a yew tree. Uh, based on me placing things down. There obviously isn't everything involved, because there's already oak trees and things like that. On my journeys, though, I did see a scorpion and other things like this along with our oh there we go wow that along with like our world for example would just be such an amazing like project um so that's why i picked this uh so this this up anyway i'll keep that there actually hey there we go a random villager spawned with a dragon hatchet you know so i mean kill him you might get it i don't know the ins and outs but let's hope so so if we move on to like the next thing, I don't think there's anything here. Yeah, there's the spawners. So there is literally so many to spawn that I, I won't... Oh, the bots. Oh, I get it. Okay, that's pretty cool. I spawn a green dragon uh, and a black knight and a hellhound. Because they sound... I remember the hellhounds, level 122, and a black knight and a green dragon bot. Oh, my bad. I thought it was a green dragon. I was well upset. A goblin. Holy Jesus, this is crazy cool. Oh no, it's not sloth boring. Scorpion! Yeah! What else is there? Sergeant Steelwig? Wow. These models are crazy good. It's like they've properly put the effort in for this. This is the reason I'm doing it, really. I just want to... Oh my God, <laughs> imagine fighting that. Uh, the guy has put so much effort into this that... I just thought it's necessary to 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 showcase this. You cannot. Oh, that's a Calphite. What about Calphite Queen? There we go. Boah, that is massive. Jesus. See, you can see a bit of an army going. Wow, those majorly going mental on that scorpion. Oh my days. You wouldn't want to get swarmed by these, basically. So this is obviously like an actual challenge. Like, it's amazing. Lesser demon. Love to see what these look like in the... <laughs> they need a bit of work, but, <laughs> you know, for the time being, yeah, cool. They look pretty pretty standard stuff. Uh, General Grado, he sounds like a tough guy. Holy macaroni. See, just the mobs, the detail in them, they're not nothing, are they? They're the proper iron dragon. <gasps> Ice giant. Oh, my God, yes. Bwah. Bwah. There you go. Now, this is what you call a mod. You know, you've got monsters... Friggin' items, which I'll get to in a second. Everything in this. Now then, onto the food. Cabbage pie, fish pie, meat pie, apple pie, and magic fruit. You know, the, the standard sort of stuff that you'd see. Hey -ya. Um So, nothing really majorly interesting for you guys there. Now, if you get onto the tools, you've got the old mithril shovels, all of the things like that. The rune shovels, the dragon axe. So, if we get a rune axe out, there you go. Just go woodcutting with it cut the tree down. I am in creative, but you know, it would work the same. And a dragon axe, because I'm sure we all want to see that. And there you go, a hatchet. Wah, wah, wah. Let's try and kill this guy with it as well. Ah, oh, goblin. Wait, do they duplicate or something? That's going mental. So yeah, that's the um, the tools. It's basically just what's already in the game. But um, 
Oh wow, that looks amazing. So what's already in the game, but just, you know, extra with the rune stuff. Now some of these are blurred out, like item mobs. Um, it seems like it's supposed to be like a party hat leggings or something, like based on the name. There are some down here as well, guard boots, blah 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 blah. But you know, let them off, for, or let him off for some of the things, because this is crazy. So as you can see, there's all the swords, there's the U shortbow, magic shortbow, dragon longsword, all the normal things. And then there's the, the chest plates and the, the things like that, the party hats, Santa hat. Hell yeah, I never got one of these in RuneScape. Whoop whoop, I'm like the richest man in the world right now. Yeah, buddy. And um, let's see what else there is, because it's crazy cool. There's all of these like rune legs, gold, arims, oh, Carol's leather body, a freaking Carol's crossbow, crystal bow, the rubber chicken. Oh my daisy's full of everything. I'm well excited for this. Dragon, a black chest plate even. Let's get this on. Oh, that's what we're talking about. I remember buying black like it was the best thing in the game. Oh, Zamorak staff. This causes fire, doesn't it? Yep, you fire it down. It makes a plus of fire. So let's burn the... No, it won't die. But yeah, so that's that, that staff. Let's get the next one out. <laughs> well excited for this. Die! Die, chicken. Die chicken. Oh, that's not even a chicken. I thought it was a chicken. The hell? Oh, it's a white knight. I didn't even spawn a white knight, did I? I spawned a black knight. The lesser demons. They're going crazy. They're breeding. <laughs> okay, next one. Um, so, this is really easy to install as well. I just thought, oh, this is the best one. Why go for the others when you can blow shit up? Oh, Battle of Lumbridge has begun. Uh, what else is there on this? Oh, uh, there's, that's pretty much it on the items, like, you know, there's the war hammers, the, the abyssal whip, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> they all do the same thing, though, you know, because at the end of the day, it is Minecraft, Minecraft, so there are limitations, but for what it's worth, this is literally the best mod I've ever, like, picked up and played, so when I got linked it, I was more than happy to play it, like, I don't think he asked for that, but why wouldn't you, come on, oh, I can sit here all day and check these out. The only thing with the dragon dagger is you can't really see yourself using it. So I'm just going to go see if... I don't know, maybe it's got poison effect added. So I can kill this guy. Whoa. Oh yeah, he's a mage, isn't he? So you can't really tell that you're shanking him, but you obviously are, because uh, you can just tell. So, that's it for the items there. And I think on the brewing, because I already looked through them, I don't think there's anything like strength potions and things, but they're already implemented into the game, so there's not really much problem there. And then on the very last page is things like adamant lumps, adamant ingots, so I'm going to guess like, you know, ore and things. Let's see if we can place it. Ow, you poo! So, yeah, that's that. Um, there's, you know, the I don't really know what these are, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, gold contracts, contracts, Zamrak hill, white hero hill. Oh, a, t a Barrow's Tomb Key. There has been a massive... Uh, oh, yeah, and also these to make um, the bows and things. Uh, and you would cut them, obviously, so they've got to be implemented. So, with the Barrow's Tomb Key, apparently there's been a massive update where everything Barrow's-related has been in, in, um, introduced. You can tell from all this stuff down here. And... Um, I don't know. I'd, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep up to date on this. I'm gonna keep watching the videos on it. I'm gonna keep playing them because this is a phenomenal mod, and I believe that everybody needs to know about this who was an old, old RuneScaper and get playing it. So I'm gonna discuss behind the scenes now and talk to people. Um, this is an amazing, amazing thing for me to wake up to. So thank you everybody for watching, and I hope you're as excited with where this is going as I am. So I will see you in the next video, guys. Eh!